Unlike so many other sports, golf offers its players gorgeous scenery and beautiful outdoor sights to see. Join me as we take a look at the top 15 most beautiful golf courses on Earth. Number 15. Pebble Beach Golf Links Even amateurs have heard of the first entry on our list. Pebble Beach Golf Links is hands down one of the most famous golf courses in the world and has been rated the top course in the United States more times than anyone can count. The course opened its doors to the public back in 1919 and has since played host to the U.S. Open six times, and it even held a PGA Championship back in 1977. Anybody who's anybody has played there, and it's the perfect locale to show off your golfing chops to the rest of the world. But what makes the Pebble Beach Golf Link so amazing is that it sits on the stunning Californian coast, so golfers can feel the ocean mists on their face as they set up for a putt and listen to the waves crashing against the rocks. As you probably already know, golf is a quiet sport, meaning you can enjoy the sounds of nature all the more here at Pebble Beach. The views of the Pacific Ocean here are truly amazing. Number 14. Abaco Club Leaving California for the Bahamas, we have the Abaco Club. This is where things start to get really tropical. And even if you don't golf, you can't deny the beautiful views that the Abaco Club has to offer. Sitting on Winding Bay, just 150 miles east of Miami in the Bahamas, the Abaco is a private club that offers a Scottish-like Lynx course with a picturesque backdrop good enough for a postcard. The beach course was designed by none other than Donald Steele and Tom McKenzie and opened up to those who could afford it back in 2006. And depending on what category you purchase, the initiation fees for the Abaco Club range anywhere from $5 to $100,000, with the annual fees ranging from two to twelve grand. It really is one of the most luxurious golf courses that money can buy, but it may be worth it, seeing as how members have full access to the soft white sand and turquoise waters on the peninsula's edge. It offers 18 holes, with the final hole nestled snug on the shoreline just 60 feet away from the crashing waves. Number 13. Pine Valley Golf Club New Jersey may not be known as the best-looking state in the United States, but the Pine Valley Golf Club certainly helps it live up to its nickname of the Garden State. This golf course belongs to a private club and has been ranked as one of the best courses not just in the country, but in the world numerous times, and it's not hard to see why. Being surrounded by the ocean like some of our previous entries is one thing, but staring up at the tall green trees is another experience entirely. All you can hear at the Pine Valley Golf Club are the birds chirping, woodland creatures scurrying about, and the sound of your swing cutting through the air. But this golf course's claim to fame isn't just the scenery. Even some of the most seasoned professionals will tell you that the course is incredibly unforgiving, perhaps even adding to the experience. What makes this course so tough is that it isn't particularly manicured, so you'll be trying to get that ball out of the scruff and shrubs all day, only to chip it into one of the massive sand traps. Pine Valley is the perfect place to learn how to lose well. But then again, if you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. Number 12. Ailsa Club at Turnberry Resort you may not know it, but golf is pretty big in Scotland, and so the country is home to some of the most beautiful golf courses on the planet, and the Elsa Club at Turnberry Resort is one of them. There are three Turnberry courses in West Scotland, but seeing as how the Elsa course has seen some of the best and brightest golfers as well as hosted multiple Open Championships, this is the undisputed champion. This golf course runs along the crags of the Ayrshire coast, and it's a magical sight when you're watching the ball soar through the air before it lands on the green. They're treated to all sorts of environmental pleasures, like sand dunes, gorgeous yellow gorse plants, and of course the well-kept landmark lighthouse. But as you approach the ninth hole, you'll be able to see the ruins of Bruce's castle, which has been around since the 13th century. And when you make it to the 12th hole, you'll see the World War II memorial. With all of the striking beauty and history at the Elsa Club, it can make for one pretty distracting round, but the views are totally worth it. Number 11. Augusta National Golf Club The next entry on our list is as sweet as a Georgia peach. The Augusta National Golf Club in Georgia in the United States is known to any golfer worth their salt and has hosted one of the biggest U.S. tournaments during its day, the Masters. It's pretty breathtaking here, with the narrow green and deep pond fully surrounded by deep
deep bunkers and the different colored azaleas as the icing on the cake of this backdrop. This is another old golf course, having been opened in 1932 by Bobby Jones and Clifford Roberts, formerly a nursery and antebellum plantation named Fruitland. The 365-acre piece of land was converted in hopes of being an affordable winter golf course. But when the Great Depression hit, the Augusta National Club fell on hard times and put any expansion plans on the back burner. It's hard to believe that the golf course that hosted President Dwight D. Eisenhower in 1948 fell on such hard times. But luckily for golf enthusiasts everywhere, it's become one of the best looking and well-known places to putt. Number 10, Teeth of the Dog. Formerly known as the top course in the Caribbean, the Teeth of the Dog at Casa del Campo Resort in the Dominican Republic doesn't just have one of the coolest names out there, but it's also one of the most beautiful and most common places to hit a few holes. If ever there was a golf course to add to your bucket list, then this is it. Designed by one of the best architects in the world, Pete Dye, the Teeth of the Dog offers seven holes sitting along the Caribbean Sea, with another four on the front and the final three in the rear. This golf course may have some similar vibes to Pebble Beach or even the Elsa Club, with golfers playing along the ocean as waves crash beneath them. But this offers a much warmer tropical setting, with those sea breezes being all the more refreshing because of it. The only catch here is that you better be good, because some of the holes at the teeth of the dog may be a little closer to the Caribbean Sea than some people would like. Number 9. Fausterbo Golf Club Who would have thought that Sweden is home to one of the most beautiful golf courses? It is one of the most spectacular countries, so why not? The Fausterbo Golf Club is at the tippity-top of the Fausterbo Peninsula, right where the Baltic Sea and the Orison Strait meet. But this golf club has been around for over a century, having first opened in 1909. And apart from the prestige that comes with age, what sets this place apart from the rest is that you're surrounded by water on three sides. So even if you don't play golf, this is the type of place you have to see to believe, especially at sunset. The course itself has all of your traditional bunkers and dunes, but you'll also find the historic lighthouse, which predates the golf course by more than a century. And did we mention that this club is a part of a nature preserve on the migratory path for different birds? It's no wonder that this golf course then is consistently included in the top golf courses in Europe. Number 8. Cape Kidnappers New Zealand, home of hobbit holes and 18 holes. Cape Kidnappers may have a bit of a sinister name, but it also just happens to be one of the more gorgeous golf clubs in the Southern Hemisphere. New Zealand is known for the greenery of the rolling farm hills, and Cape Kidnappers is no exception. It really is as picturesque as you can get as you knock a few balls out towards the Pacific Blue. A younger addition to the golf world, this course was designed by famed golf architect Tom Doak in 2004, and by 2007, Golf Digest named this location as the 10th best course outside the United States. These 18 holes offer a good challenge for golfers of all levels. Just make sure you don't peg any of the sheep that inhabit the area. Cape Kidnappers is an excellent excuse for anyone to head to the island. Number 7. Ocean Club Golf Course is it possible to golf in paradise? Yes, yes it is. The Ocean Club Golf Course on Paradise Island in the Bahamas is seriously the island getaway of your dreams, regardless of your golf swing. The views here are insane, with the mostly flat course letting you look out at the crystal clear waters as far as the eye can see. The only real catch here is the nasty crosswinds that can mix up any golfer. But then again, what better place to feel that type of frustration than in the Bahamas? The 18 holes are spread across a 7,100-yard course along the peninsula and have played host to plenty of big televised tournaments, like the Michael Jordan Invitational. And it's managed to make the Golfer's Digest top 10 courses in North America and the Caribbean in one year. This is the place to be. Number 6. The Ocean Course As we've already seen, California is home to some of the most beautiful coastline in North America, so there's no way that the Pebble Beach Links are going to be the only big beautiful golf course in the state. Sitting atop a bluff, the Ocean Course at Half Moon Bay in California overlooks the waves of the Pacific Ocean and offers golfers a 6,914-yard course fashioned after the classic Scottish links to play on. But it's the natural terrain that really gets golfers going, and it's maintained just enough to keep the people's blood from boiling, while also offering the type of challenge that Mother Nature herself can deliver. 
There's the long grass that sways about in the strong ocean breeze, and even the bagpipers that play every weekend during sunset. The ocean course is momentous, and the final four holes at the course in Half Moon Bay are some of the most famous holes in the world. Number 5. Lemuria Golf Course Another golf course that is as close to paradise as you can get is the Lemuria Golf Course on Praslin Island in the Seychelles. This 18-hole course is special because it's the only one of its kind in the Indian Ocean archipelago. The first 12 holes, though, are all found between the lines of palm trees, but when number 13 rolls around, that's when things get a little unlucky, because from there, the course extends out over the slope of a thickly forested hill. And while the views may be breathtaking, from here on out, you're going to focus all of your concentration on not losing that ball in the untamed thickets. But while you don't want to look down, things go up from here because as you move onwards through the course, you'll reach the highest point, a rocky ridge overlooking the cool blue waters and all of the nearby islands. Then to finish out the course, the green plunges right down to the well-manicured and carved out rainforest, eventually leading you to the lake. And the best part about the Lemuria Golf Course is if you're staying at the nearby resort, all of your greens fees are included with the room. So even if you've never golfed a day in your life, this might be the best place to cut your teeth. Number 4. Banff Springs What if you could play a solid round of golf while enjoying the scenery of a UNESCO World Heritage Site? Well, that's exactly what the course at Banff Springs in Canada offers. Located right in the middle of the Canadian Rockies, Banff Springs is a golf course like no other and just so happens to be one of the best in the country. Banff Springs has everything. There are the tall trees as old as time and the tall craggy mountains enclosing you as you go for a good 18 holes. But everything changes when you hit the fourth hole, known as the Devil's Cauldron, which overlooks a stunning lake. It's some of the most picturesque scenery you will ever come across in your life, and if you're lucky, your game may even be put on hold because of a herd of elk grazing about and keeping the grass nice and trim for you. Number 3. Pacific Dunes When it comes to the west coast of the United States, we can't let California have all the fun. Oregon is easily one of the most beautiful states in the country and offers some pretty diverse nature. And the Oregon coast is some of the best coastline in the entire world, no doubt about it. The Pacific Dunes in Oregon are just breathtaking with the panoramic ocean views of the Pacific from the top of the cliffs. But the real claim to fame here is that much of the scenery remains untouched as the area provided the perfect natural golf course. All of the fairways have been left as is, with even the bunkers being au naturel. The Pacific Dunes have looked just like this minus the holes for hundreds of years and are a stunning example of humans working with nature instead of against it. The course starts out in the pines on the shore and then moves out towards the 60-foot tall sand dunes that gives way to the greens, with grass that keeps the ball rolling. Pacific Dunes is just one of eight courses at the Bandon Dunes Golf Resort in Oregon, but she is without the shadow of a doubt the best of a bunch. Number 2. Ilo Surf Ilo Surf is a privately owned island off the east coast of Mauritius in the Indian Ocean and is home to one of the most prestigious golf courses in the world. You really can't beat this one as it's the best golf course in the region and on many golfers' bucket lists. This course was designed by Bernhard Langer, with the fairway cutting along the island and carving its way through the trees, giving players some killer views of the ocean and surrounding mountains. Water is the biggest feature on this course, with nine lakes from end to end, and even the sea itself offers a challenge for anyone lucky enough to play a few rounds here. But the golf course of Ile Surf is part of a major resort, so keeping up with the island vibe, the golf course manages to be challenging but fair, without making you want to throw a temper tantrum if you come in over par. Number 1. St. Andrew's Old Course Playing golf out on the beach or in the middle of the woods sounds great, but what about playing with old Scottish architecture serving as the backdrop? St. Andrew's Old Course in Scotland is the type of green that golfers far and wide dream of, considering it's one of the most famous of its kind in the world. Part of what makes this locale so renowned is that you're quite literally walking in the footsteps of some of the greatest golfers of all time. And since the St. Andrew's Old Course is the oldest in the world, that's a lot of people. Folks have been swinging their clubs there since the 15th century, even before the course was officially established in 1552. 
The St. Andrews Old Course is dug right into the North Sea dunes of the Scottish coast, and you had better believe those winds are going to rip up even the most experienced players. Nine out of ten times the wind is going to win. The 17th hole here is known to provide golfers with the biggest challenge with a narrow green right between a pot bunker and the road, with the city of St. Andrews providing a nice distracting backdrop. Watch our binge watching playlist if you'd like to watch all of our most popular top 15 videos. Grab a drink, grab a snack, and get ready to binge.